I was there. Hundreds of women, their heads shorn in borrowed clothes, standing in rows of five for hours and hours, in the rain, in the heat, morning and evening being counted. We are thirsty, so thirsty, but there is no water, and thirst is worse than hunger. Some fall down, limbs contorted. We do not dare to do more than whisper. Get up. You have to get up. Get up. If you don't get up, you'll die. Mengele goes past, sees the fallen, points to others to pick them up. Neither are ever seen again. I was there. I was there, the girl was frantic, diabetic, and knew she couldn't survive long without medication. Of course, there's none. Only the healthy might survive. In the night, she went into a coma. We took her to the end of the hut. Doctors amongst us attended her, talked to her. There is no hope for her. She died at dawn take me away. I didn't even know her name, but I was there. I was there. Every day we stood and were counted and counted again every morning, every evening for hours. Nerves stretched to breaking point. Some couldn't bear it, run to the perimeter fence, got stuck like spread eagle butterflies on a specimen board. The fences were electrified. This obscenity was Auschwitz-Birkenau. I was there. I was there, we stood past being hungry, past being thirsty. We got thinner, feebler, more fell, more disappeared. Only the strong and the healthy now remained. One day we were told to strip, to hold our rags above our heads, we were prodded like cattle. Don't move. Moving is dangerous, it singles you out. Makes you vulnerable. The secret of survival is not to be noticed. But I was still there. I was there, Mengele asked for doctors and nurses to go with the labour transport. Could we trust this evil man with his perverted sense of humour, the man who roared with laughter when we got out of the wagon with five doctors and nurses linking arms? Having put a scarf on the grizzled head of our aged doctor, hiding her in the middle, marching ahead, singing, through the portal which proclaimed Arbeit macht frei, work gives you freedom, but led to death. We five are still together, supporting each other. You need friends to survive. I was there. I was there as now again we stepped out together, volunteering. We knew if we stayed, we would not live long. Nobody does here in Auschwitz-Birkenau. Sooner or later, you end up dead. Ghast, ashes, made into gray, coarse soap, bits of bone sticking out to scratch, to remind you that you are still there. I was there. With this transport, was it real? One of his jokes. We might get out or be sent to the gas chamber. We took the risk, did you? Would you? We were the fortunate few, the 500, who worked in armament factories, constantly bombed, but still alive. Now living in hope. Our hope was justified. Our hope was their despair. 
But this was not to be the end. We walked and tottered towards perdition. Don't stop. Don't fall. They'll shoot you. I was there, but was there ever a sweeter Easter Sunday? The church bells rang out. White sheets hung from windows. American tanks rumbled, stopped in the square. In dismay, as wave after wave of skeletal women screaming, weeping, shouting with joy at deliverance surrounded them. I crouched in a ditch, unable to move. Will I walk again? I'm there. I was there, we thought the Lord had deserted us, had turned his back on us, did not respond to our prayers, our cries, but where we rock? Perhaps he could not bear to see the obscenity of his people going docilely, mutely into perdition. Or was it martyrdom? I'm here today. I still don't know the answer. How? Why did I survive and so many died? Perhaps I survived to bear witness, to tell the tale, hoping people will listen. But what have humans learned from our experience? I don't know. Our legacy is the hope that they have. All I can say is, I was there.